Hi guys, it's Jan. I'm high as fuck right now and I remember the good story. So, I was my fourth year of uh, high school and we were going to prom. Yeah, prom. But one thing you need to know about my high school. It was an almost all-male high school, meaning we had 500 males, 50 girls, yeah, and those girls, those were some ugly fucking bastards, light horror thoughts, but okay, so, that school was a little prison. You had two gates. On the sides of those gates, about three meters of concrete with barbed wire and a security check. It was not a security check, but it looked like it at the front gate. So that was the entrance to the school. Guess what? The animals went to that school. Every single one. There was a saying. Who's not for school? He's for that school. Yeah. Meaning the lowest of the low. The worst of the worst. The craziest of the crazy. All in one place. All from different neighborhoods. Meaning there was conflict all the time. There were stabbings. A few years before I came, <laughs> a guy assaulted someone with an axe in that school. Yeah, so that's real nice. So, guess what? In my department, not departments, yeah, in my class, no girls. Yeah, we're not going to prom. There was talks of maybe connecting with all-girls school and having prom together, but that sucks dick. It costs way a lot, way more than just getting drunk at the parking lot with beer in everybody's trunk and live drugs all around with live music. Yeah, no prom. But guess what? My grandparents thought that I was going to prom gave me prom money. I asked for them to give me some money for prom. Get myself dressed casually. So, uh, we decided not to go. So what I did then is spend all the money rather quickly. And then I had an issue. My grandparents were thinking I bought clothes. I bought everything except clothes. <laughs> so, I get in a difficult situation. I get myself to thinking. What do I need to get them to think that I went to prom? I need a picture. They ask for one thing. They ask for a prom picture. So I think to myself, who do I know? You know, in every bar, there's that one dude that nobody likes, that approaches every group and wants to be good with everybody, and that sits at your table, eats your food, takes your cigarettes or anything. A social leech. Yeah, that dude. But that dude happened to live two streets next to me, and did photography. Yeah, I call him up, say, what you doing tomorrow? Nothing? Okay, come to my place. So we went, went to my bedroom. I got a jacket from my friends. Uh, I had one shirt, mm, regular white shirt, yeah. And I had some pants. So I did my prom picture in my bedroom with a sheet behind me 
imaging a white wall on prom and uh, a headshot was done and a almost full body because I was barefoot. I didn't have shoes. I didn't buy shoes. Couldn't go with an Adidas classic Slav. Yeah, I know. So, uh, we went the same day, did the pictures, he paid for them, fucking leech, and <laughs> I went to my grandparents, gave them the pictures, they were so endeared and excited, they framed the pictures up, they're still up, I don't talk to my grandparents, that side of my Life is kind of over, yeah, I don't want people around me who, who are, eh, you know. So, the moral of the story is, they never found out, until now, because someone's gonna show them. You know what? I don't flying fuck because it was fun <laughs> it was real fun I told my mom and my sister that I was doing it they were shocked how could you think of it how not to fuck them they gave me nothing I asked for nothing so yeah when <laughs> when life gives you lemons Screw your grandparents over for prom money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. I'll put the Instagram down and maybe Twitter. Yeah, sure. See you in the next one.